Welcome to my channel. Today I continue my review of Canon 5D cameras. If you didn't see my video on the 5D Classic, which was the first one I did a review of, you can see it up here. Um, but this time it's about the 5D Mark III. The 5D Mark III was probably one of the best-selling cameras uh, in the full-frame market that uh, Canon has ever made. It was uh, sold to many professionals and that used it for a lot of stuff like uh, uh, nature shots and uh, weddings and stuff like that. It's a 24 megapixel camera with a full-frame sensor and uh, it has many advantages uh, compared to the previous uh, models and especially to the uh, 5D that I reviewed last time. If we compare those two, the uh, sensor resolution has gone up from 13 megapixels to 24 megapixel. That's one of the big things about this camera. It's also a much uh, faster camera, so it actually shoots uh, six frames per second, whereas the old model, the classic, only had uh, three, uh, did uh, three frames per second. So another thing there. Uh, the color depth is uh, it's larger and the dynamic range is much larger and uh, it uh, reaches up to 25,600 ISO whereas the 5D Classic only went up to uh, 3200 ISO. So many things that has changed. And uh, this camera also has a uh, video mode which uh, was non-existent on the old one. Uh, it came with the uh, Mark II model, uh, but this one also has a video and uh, it's a full HD video. No 4K yet. Uh, I think that came with the next model, but uh, not on this camera. But it's uh, very good and was used uh, to make a lot of film actually. So. Um, um, people made um, a lot of movies uh, using uh, exactly this camera, uh, often with uh, with uh, vintage glass and uh, and uh, adapted glass on this uh, camera. Here you can see where the 5D Mark III is positioned in the lineup of uh, DSLR cameras from Canon. It's a lightweight uh, professional camera, not on the heavy side like the 1D series. And uh, here you also see uh, what kind of other cameras I own, uh, marked with red, and what kind of cameras I have owned, marked with blue. And a lot of these you will find uh, reviews on uh, my channel. I bought this camera in uh, 2013 when I went on an expedition to Mount Everest, to the north side of Everest. And I'll show you some images from that trip because I think that this uh, camera just was uh, exceeding my expectation on that trip. It did a marvelous job of getting me some awesome images. Uh, I was having a, a, not this lens, but a 17 to 40 millimeter and the uh, and a 50 millimeter 1.4, and I also carried a 70 to 200 millimeter uh, f 2.8. So a lot of uh, professional uh, uh, class glass. Um, and that made also, of course, the uh, very nice images.
a slight uh, disadvantage uh, of this camera compared to the old uh, classic uh, 5D is that the weight has gone up by almost 200 gram. Uh, so it's a, it's a bit of a heavy camera, but uh, it's also a very sturdy camera and it's uh, weather sealed. And it also has, uh, unlike the old model, it has uh, two slots here. So there's both an SD slot and a CF slot, whereas the old uh, classic only had a CF uh, card slot. So to sum up my impressions of uh, the 5D Mark III, a long-standing favorite of mine, uh, I like the camera for its uh, design, the many physical buttons and also the display on top. I also like that it has a pretty fast autofocus, including that it also has face detection, especially compared with the old 5D Classic which didn't have this. It also has live view and you can even view the histogram in uh, its live view mode, so that's nice. And of course, uh, that it has a full HD video, I've used that on many trips in the mountains, so also that feature is a good thing for me. And of course, the image quality of this camera is quite awesome, even for uh, seen today uh, compared to many of the cameras of today. And uh, it was once a very expensive camera, but today on the used markets, it's very cheap. So if you like this uh, kind of camera, go get one. There's not so much negative to say about this camera. I would have liked to have a screen that I could flip out to take uh, low angle uh, images. Um, and it's uh, not a sports camera with its uh, frame rate of six frames per second, but uh, on, the, on the other hand, I didn't expect it to be. It has no built-in flash. Uh, I would have liked that just for a little bit of fill in when I do portraits, uh, have the little bit of light in the eyes. And it's a bit of on the heavy side for this kind of camera, but on the total, a very good camera. 
I hope you liked my small review of the Canon 5D Mark III and liked my images uh, both from Everest and from recent uh, time. Um, at least it's a camera that I have used for many years and I have loved it very much. But uh, at some point I upgraded and that's the camera I will review next time. This is the uh, Canon 5DSR here mounted with the awesome 200mm f2 lens. I won't be reviewing it with this lens, I will be reviewing with the same lens as I have reviewed uh, the two other 5D cameras. But uh, stay tuned for that review. So I hope you liked it and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button. And thank you very much for this time and bye for now.